Welcome to this special edition of Hollow Patient. Hollow Patient is an app that brings standardized patients to you wherever you are. Next. For this free version, we are looking at a COVID-19 patient. In order... If you need to reposition your patient, reach out and grab a handle on the box. Remember to press done when you're happy with the position of your patient. You can also pause my voice or replay what I've said using the audio controls at the top right hand side of the main screen. If you're happy to continue, let's take a closer look at our patient by pressing next. Our patient is a 59 year old male. He's currently taking amlodipine <laughs> to control hypertension, but is usually fit, well and independent regarding all activities of daily living. Further information can be found on the patient information screen. Remember, we are looking for signs and symptoms both typical of COVID-19 and any that indicate deterioration and the need to escalate care. Next. <coughs> to help take some baseline observations, feel free to walk around the patient observing the vital signs. If you need to change temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit, just say Celsius or Fahrenheit. Next. Spend as long as you wish with the patient. It is now two hours later. Investigations, <laughs> including COVID-19 swabs, blood tests and CXR, have been done, and his vitals are being monitored every half an hour. The patient has moved from breathing room air to now receiving oxygen via nasal cannulae at a rate of two litres of oxygen per minute. Both oxygen saturations and heart rate are now being monitored continuously via an oximeter on the patient's finger. We should be aiming to keep oxygen saturation above 94%. <coughs> As you can see, breathlessness is increasing with faster breaths, but also deeper breaths. An important point to consider is the relatively asymptomatic hypoxia, which can develop into breathlessness later. A further hour has now passed. The patient has been admitted to a ward and is using a non-rebreathe oxygen mask with an O2 flow rate of 15 liters per minute. Despite this, note how the patient is breathing harder leaning forward and using his accessory respiratory muscles. He is becoming fatigued and fidgety due to the sheer effort of breathing. Recall that we are looking for any further signs of deterioration and whether to move to the next stage of escalation in the patient's management. A further 30 minutes has passed and the patient's symptoms and CXR are highly suggestive of COVID-19. The patient is breathless and hypoxic despite supplemental oxygen. A senior doctor has reviewed the patient and advised to initiate continuous positive airway pressure, CPAP, while awaiting review by the critical care team. Note the tightly fitting CPAP mask in situ. The aim of CPAP is to assist oxygenation and to help with work of breathing. In particular, note the antibacterial filter in situ before the exhalation port. This is vital in a COVID-19 patient to filter exhaled air to prevent aerolyzed spread of the virus. Next. Given the target SpO2 of 94 to 96%, this patient's respiratory system is failing despite maximum CPAP pressure and oxygen flow. Given Next. this and the other factors we have observed, Continue to assess and observe the patient for as long as you need. There are no further stages. You can use the back button or the timeline to revisit any patient stage you have seen. Next. But if you are finished, click next. 